Mr. Grasso. Yes, thank you very much, Chairman Mendelson and uh, Council Member Evans uh, for holding this joint hearing on this important legislation. Uh, many people know that I uh, grew up a big part of my life on a farm in Virginia and I had access to high quality organic vegetables every day of my life. In fact, sometimes more than I wanted. And I think that, you know, that's really what's formed um, kind of the direct access to it and the possibility for me to have a healthy upbringing in that regard has uh, made a huge difference in my life and that of my brothers and sisters. Um, and I think it's important that we expand that access um, to the same privilege here in the District of Columbia and in other urban areas. Because in the District of Columbia, one out of three residents are at risk of hunger, while one in three district children are at risk of becoming overweight or obese. As obesity and diet-related chronic disease rates continue to rise, the need to create a sustainable food system that provides healthy food, which meets all of the city's current needs and maintains a healthy ecosystem, is imperative. The district, through the Healthy Schools Act and the Healthy Corner Store Program, is working diligently to reduce food insecurity and improve the health and wellness of district residents, particularly those in neighborhoods without adequate supermarkets and other sources of affordable healthy food. However, more can and should be done. I introduced this legislation because all district residents at all times should have access to sufficient, safe, and nutritious food to maintain a healthy and active life. Food security is built on three pillars, food availability, food access, and food use. The legislation instructs the mayor to first identify and then lease certain district-owned vacant lots to independent farmers and farm cooperatives to be used for successful urban farming ventures. This bill also creates tax incentives to encourage more individuals and businesses to farm locally and donate locally farmed food and vegetables, fruits, and grains to DC food banks or shelters. By the district leasing its unused vacant property throughout the city to independent farmers and community farm cooperatives, it allows our residents to claim direct access to healthy food by growing, harvesting, and processing it themselves. By incentivizing more individuals and businesses to proactively donate to local food banks or homeless shelters, we can support organizations like Miriam's Kitchen and the Capital Area Food Bank that manage to make wonderful meals for our most vulnerable residents day in and day out. My goal is to foster a robust conversation around food security and sustainability. That is why I have partnered with the Open Government Foundation to promote transparency. Using the Madison platform, this bill, as well as others, have been uploaded to spur community engagement and allow district residents to comment and offer input. We have received feedback already, which I will be incorporating today, and I encourage anyone watching from home to log in and join the conversation. We will be accepting questions throughout today's hearing, and while I will not be able to ask them all, I do encourage everyone to utilize this platform and continue to stay engaged on this and other issues. A truly sustainable food system encourages local food production and distribution opportunities that make nutritious food accessible and affordable to all district residents. With this legislation, we will continue to improve food availability, food access, and food use. And I'm eager to hear from and engage with all of the witnesses in the discussion to follow. Thank you very much, Chairman Mendelson.